In this video, we're going to talk about how to inspect a colony for American fowl brood. This is really important, um, and it's important that people don't take shortcuts, and also that they carry out these inspections um, when there's any chance of the disease spreading, i.e. that is when, if you're going to take boxes or frames of bees away from a hive, that's a really good time to do an inspection. So what, I, what I'm going to do now is to go through the recommended way to inspect a colony for American fowl brood. Just use a bit of smoke to uh, calm them down. It's quite an invasive process to do um, an inspection if you want to do it properly. So the bees quite often get uh, annoyed with the process even if you are using smoke. And the really important thing that you, that an inspector for American fowl brood is you must shake the bees off. Because if the bees are covering a whole lot of the cells, um, it's very hard to diagnose disease. The other thing, so what you're looking for is anything with a sunken capping or darkened capping or those irregular holes around it like this one here. Or any cell like these two here that should have emerged, but for some reason, they haven't. Most often it's because the queen's just laid an egg there and wandered on, but quite often it's because the larvae underneath it or pupae is actually dead. In this case, they're fine, but it's always good to uncap those ones and check. The other thing about doing an inspection, which is really, really important, is that you should do every frame of brood. Um, if you're only doing three frames out of six, if there's a single cell there with American fowl brood, you're um, only going to pick it up half the time. So the other half the time you might take, take the frames out and spread them around and spread the disease. So the difference between people who have got really good AFB control and those that don't is often on the number of frames that they check. The other thing, of course, you need to do before you uh, go and inspect a colony is be very confident that you can recognize American fowl brood. The other thing we try to do is to check every cell that's capped. Um, you should be able to pick up um, just a single cell in a colony that's got American fowl brood. And most be good beekeepers actually can do that so that it's a very good, useful test. Takes a little while to go through it. Oh. And here's some more that have got, that should have hatched out, but haven't. So we'll check those. And you'll quite often see in any colony you check, um, other diseases as well, not just, um, hopefully not American fowl brood, but quite often you'll see sack brood or chalk brood. And those, and sometimes parasitic mite syndrome if there's too many varroa. And they have symptoms of chewed cappings as well. And it's important um, not to get complacent about those. So if you've opened a few of them and they've all got chalk brood or they've all got sack brood, it's actually not safe to assume that the rest have sack brood. So I know it takes a long time, but you need to check um, all of the ca chewed cappings without kind of making those assumptions. I certainly know of an example where a beekeeper um, went to an apiary and took the honey off, was well, going to take the honey off, looked at all the frames and there was a lot of varroa and a lot of parasitic mite syndrome. So he assumed that all the true cappings were that, took the honey off, uh, put strips in. When he came back to the site, um, he found that the strips, the varroa strips had cleaned up the varroa. However, there were still chewed cappings. And when he looked at them, he found that they were American fowl brood. So he'd taken a whole lot of honey supers off American fowl brood hives and didn't know um, from all the, all the other supers off where they had come from. So if you've got a lot of parasitic mite syndrome, the lesson there is either don't take the honey off until you have tidied up the American fowl brood 
uh, sorry, the um, parasitic mite syndrome, or take the box off, but mark it. Mark the frame, mark the box, so that you can, um, if you do find it's American fowl brood, and not parasitic mite syndrome, you can come back and get the box and dispose of it. Just by way of summarizing the most important things in this uh, video, when you're doing an inspection, it's really important to shake the bees off. It's very, very important to do full frame inspections. That's check every frame of brood. And the last one is the timing of these inspections. You should do an inspection at the same time as you intend to remove anything from a hive that will later be placed on another hive.